Last night I tried to install Arch Linux and it failed miserably. Let's take a look. Morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see we are back in the shed. It's nice outside today. I could have gone out there but I didn't feel like it. It's also a bit loud out there. So anyway, not too important. So last night as you heard I tried to install Arch and it did not go too well. I don't know why. I was following two tutorials which I'll probably link in the description below if you want to check them out. I don't think that there was anything wrong with them because their systems booted just fine when they were done with all their steps. So I don't know. <clears throat> so I was using UEFI mode in VirtualBox so it could have been an issue with that but I, I don't know. I went through a tutorial trying to install it with three partitions that obviously shouldn't affect it. And then the issue seemed to be with the bootloader. I tried using Grub, which was what the first tutorial used, and then System Deboot. Both of them just didn't take me to the proper boot menu. Uh, with Grub, it took me to the uh, Grub command line, and with System Deboot, it took me to, um, what was it, the... A screen that looks right, but only has load into firmware or something. <clears throat> so, I didn't realize I could switch my motherboard over to uh, BIOS mode. <laughs> so, you know what? Screw it. Screw you if I. I don't need it. I'm just going to switch into legacy mode. It's all of the, on, um, with BIOS. <clears throat> and not think about it because it's probably going to work instantly yeah so <clears throat> it could have i do know that uh, virtualbox its uefi support isn't great so it could have just been that or i could have a bad install of virtualbox uh i could have missed a step that was really crucial and it just didn't work uh with Grub and System Deboot, I could have missed something in the config files, and that just killed it. I honestly, I have no idea what could have done it. Hmm. But I bet as soon as I switch into BIOS mode, it's going to work on my first attempt. And yeah, then I don't know. We'll think about dealing with UEFI mode when motherboard stops supporting BIOS mode. I guess <laughs> that's probably the easiest way to do it. So this video probably isn't going to go on too much longer, really. I don't actually have a ton else to say. I have no idea why the why the issue happened. Always use VMs when you're testing stuff. Because if I had done this on actual hardware, you wouldn't be seeing this video right now because I would have nothing to edit it on. <laughs> so yeah, just everyone has probably recommended it to you already. But yeah, if you're going to install... Not even just Arch, just if you're going to install some, I don't know, even if you're going to install Windows 10 for the first time, do it on a VM. You might have to wait a few hours because it's Windows 10, the last time I installed that it took a ridiculously long time. Obviously if you don't have the option for a, uh, a VM because it's a new system then you're not really going to hurt much if you don't really have anything to lose. But if you're doing it on a drive that already has some stuff on it, then yeah, I really, I really do recommend using a VM, even if it's just to be absolutely certain that you know what you're doing before you delete your entire drive. Obviously, you can back it up, but just to be safe, and in case you somehow manage to cause some sort of hardware issue, I guess. But yeah, that. That I reckon is pretty much it. Let me know if you like the new uh, the new intro. It's I just threw it together in a couple of minutes, and the music it's probably going to be something from Kevin McLeod. I haven't actually decided yet. Um, it'll be in the description below when I decide. It's going to be some some free stuff because I don't feel like spending money on an intro for a channel that has two subscribers right now. We can save that hopefully till we have at least ten, maybe. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think that pretty much covers everything. So if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. So I think that is pretty much it. I'm out.